Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a humongous haul for you. I have things from PR, some things from Ulta, Sephora, Walmart, um, Nordstrom Rack. Yeah, just a little bit of everything. So um, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to start with was a product that was sent to me um, from Becca. And so they did send this to me. I did not pay for it, but my opinion is always 100% honest and true. And this is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. And um, it comes in a little pot like this that has a lid on it. And you take the lid off and then it has a cap on here and it tells you to make sure that when you're not using it that you have pushed the cap down where it locks so it doesn't dry out the product because this powder is very unique in the fact that it um, when you first put it on or touch it it feels wet but it doesn't go on wet and how I've been using it is I've been using this little it um, brush here which is the Velvet Luxe um, powder brush and I've been using it as a finishing powder and it just kind of leaves a really nice pretty finish to the skin and just kind of tap it off a little bit like that and then I just kind of start tapping it and when you feel it when you put it on it does have a wet or a cooling sensation to it but it dries down instantly so it doesn't leave your face looking wet or feeling wet I will say from trial and error when you do it don't push your brush just right into the face like this or it's going to leave it's going to glop it's just going to sit there in that one spot you're not going to be able to blend it out it's going to look like you've gotten your powder wet or your foundation wet but you just want to kind of just lightly tap it onto the skin and just makes it so pretty just a very nice finish um, on the powder let me tell you what the claims are it says it's an ultra translucent setting powder that sets makeup for extended wear with a revitalizing mist light effect on the skin. And um, it seems like years and years and years ago, there was a brand that was sold at the mall that was called Pres Prescriptives. And they had a powder that was very similar to this, that when you put it on, it felt wet when it went on, but then it kind of dried down. But so I've been enjoying that. Um, the only thing that I, fault that I have with it again like I said when you first get it when you get it onto your brush don't just go into one spot and press just do it really really lightly across the face and then you will you'll be fine so and this retails for um, $38 and I think you can find it at Sephora and at Ulta the next product I have is from Kevin Aquan, and this product was again sent to me um, for review. Um, I did not pay for this. It was complimentary from Kevin Aquan, and it's the Neo Elux um, Weightless Beauty Oil. And it's a tri-phase beauty oil that's in a glass bottle like this. And you can see here the different levels of the oil, and it is an oil, but it's an oil that is used to prime to hydrate the skin, to nourish the skin. It's long lasting and it leaves a really nice glow on the skin. I did use this as my primer today. You just shake it up like this. It has a dispenser here on top that you push down and let go and then it pulls up the product into the vial or the little dropper there. And then you just spread it all over your face before you put your um, foundation on. Um, a tip though, if you're putting sunscreen on, which you should, um, let make sure that your sunscreen has dried down completely because I did it one morning and when I put this on, it kind of moved my sunscreen around. So make sure it's your sunscreen and all of your skincare that you've put on is dry. And then you'll put this on and then you can put your foundation over the top of it. It is just so pretty. I do have it on, like I said, as a primer today. Um, what it does, it says it's a prime highlight and hydrate with the first ever tri-phase liquid highlighting oil. It's not a heavy oil either. It does sink right into the skin. It's not going to sit on top of the skin. I hate it when oils do that. It sits on top of the skin. And it's supposed to be a multi-dimensional highlighting effect. I don't really see the multi-dimensional highlighting effect, but I did notice a nice 
soft glow to the skin after I put it on. So I did get that and that retails for $52. A little pricey, but a little bit goes a long ways with this. And the smell of it was, was really nice. Very, 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 very light, very light. It's, so if you are um, sensitive to scents, I don't think you would have a problem with that because it's just a very, very light scent on that. The next product I have is also from Kevin Aquan, and this again was also sent to me for reviewing purposes from Kevin Aquan. And this is the sculpting powder. Um, the sculpting powder in the color light is the color that was sent to me. And it's just what it says it does. It's just a powder that you can use to help to sculpt the um, face, which that's the wrong one. That one's mine. That was a medium. Here's the light colored one, and I'll show you the difference. Here's the light which is what was sent to me, and here is the medium, which I already owned. So I have both, both colors there, so that you can see the difference there. But you can use these to sculpt out cheekbones, um, to help sculpt the nose. I like to use these as a um, crease color in the eyes to help, especially if you're using a palette that doesn't really have a good crease or transition shade. These work really good for that. They're very smooth, um, they blend very well. They will last you a long time. I mean, I know it's a small little container, but it doesn't take very much. They're very pigmented for being um, a sculpting powder. Um, you can see the two colors there. And they're the perfect tone, almost like a gray tone. So it kind of helps to cast that shadow right here to help um, kind of sculpt and define the cheekbone. It's really hard for me to get a cheekbone and sculpting because I have a round face. So, but I do like these. This is the medium and this one is the light. So again, these were sent to me um, from Kevin Aquan and they do retail for around $44 each on that. The next product I have is again from Kevin Aquan, and again, this was sent to me for PR um, through Kevin Aquan and Otteley, so I did not pay for this. This will be the last PR product, I promise. Um, this is a product that I have on my lips, and it is the Molten Lip Color in the shade Poppy Topaz. So, let me show you. First of all, last summer I bought this one, which is in the color, um, rose bronze rose so this is the one that um, kevin aquan sent to me and this one is the one that's called what was it called pink topaz and it's what i have on my lips i do have it over a lip liner this is the one that i bought last summer at um, sephora when we went on our vegas trip and this one is rose bronze super pretty perfect for summer let me do let me do a swatch on these on that one and this one Think they are so pretty they just kind of they have shimmer in them they do have some little micro glitters but it's not over the top it's not going to um, the color go away and you let you're left with um, glitter on the lips not going to happen they don't have they have a very 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 faint scent but anyway here is the one that i am wearing on my lips which is more of a pink toned and then this one here is the bronze one that I have. That's a bronze color. Like I said, super pretty, especially for summer when we're doing all the bronze and the peach colored um, eye looks and the sun-kissed um, cheeks and the forehead with the bronzer. This is perfect. And I just love the way they look. I wore this one yesterday to um, my father-in-law's memorial service and it just worked perfectly. I mean, we were out in the wind. Uh, my hair is blowing. It didn't stick in my hair, or my my hair did not stick onto it. Um, I felt like it lasted quite a while, you know, because I'm walking around doing a lot of talking, and then we had a kick out. Um, of course, after I ate, I had to reapply, but just a really, really pretty, pretty um, lip gloss. And I'm not a big, huge fan of lip glosses, but I do like these. They have enough pigment to them and enough um, thickness to them without being sticky. Or tacky almost almost like a lipstick hybrid almost and these run around $30 each so I did get those and of course you can get those at um, Sephora okay so that is the last of the PR products so now let's get into um, let's get into what I have on 
the rest of my face so that you kind of have an idea. Um, I purchased, I had some points at Ulta. Mm, let me show you the Sephora stuff first. And then I'll show you the Ulta stuff. Um, so on my eyes, I have the Marc Jacobs new um, Iconic Multi Finish Eye Palette in the color Fantasine. Fantasine. And where are you at? Here it is. And this is what I used to create my eye look today, with the exception of the Kevin Aquan um, Sculpt Powder and Light. I did use that in the crease as a transition shade. <laughs> messy but I have been using this for several weeks now um, just very very pretty perfect for summer um, got the spring the peach and the pink tones in it and just creates a beautiful eye look for summer I just I've been liking it um, it has a faint just a very very faint scent to it and I may be imagining that it may be something I have in my hand but anyway I did get that so I have that on the eyes I also did get the um, bronzer that was from the collection, and it's the Omega Bronzer Coconut Perfect Tan Limited Edition in the color Tantastic. And I do have this as my bronzer today, and that's what it looks like there. And I'll do a little swatch so that you can see, put it right there above that Sculpt Powder. So it has a little bit, a bit of a peach tint to it or a red tint to it, which is perfect for summer. Kind of gives that sun-kissed look to the cheeks and to the bridge of your nose, to the forehead, just wherever you think that the sun touches your skin, then that's where you would want to put that. It's just really pretty. So I have that on, and that was what I got from um, Sephora. I'm looking at my pile of stuff here. And so now, let me show you what all I got at Ulta. Now with my Ulta order, I had a bunch of points to, um, that I wanted to redeem. Because um, I always hear horror stories about people's accounts that get hacked and people steal their points from Ulta. So once I get to a certain amount, I like to cash them in. And um, that's what I did. So I got from NARS, the Narcissist. Um, what is this called? I can't read it. Um, what is this called? I can't read this, what it says. Anyway, it's a, it's a eye, a cheek, pal a cheek palette. Hmm. Which one is it? Oh, Lord. I should have brought my glasses in here. I can't read what it says, but anyway, it's the lighter. There's two different ones. There's one that has darker colors and there's one that has lighter colors. And I got the one with the lighter colors. And it's just all these really pretty peach colored um, cheek colors and a highlight that's perfect, again, for summer. I have this here on as my highlight and then I have this on as my blush today. Just beautiful colors. I've got hair in it. My hair falls out like crazy. Um, there's the highlight. I do have that on as my highlight today. I have it down the nose, a little bit up in here. And then here's the um, blush that I have on with it. And I forgot to tell you that this Ulta order that I have here, I had enough points that everything only ended up costing me around $4 is what I ended up paying. So I got that, and that's what I have on. I don't want to put this in the box. Oh, it's wanted number one. That's what it is. Wanted number one. I can't read that. I also got from Anastasia the Soft Glam um, eyeshadow palette, which you probably have seen. And it looks like this here. I will say that these eyeshadows are so soft that, especially these um, metallic ones, just so soft and kind of just have to just lightly touch your eyeshadow brush into there or so they get all messy because they're just they're too soft I'm running out of space to swatch I'm out of practice I haven't filmed in a while so I'm kind of out of practice um, I kind of mentioned a little bit ago but my father-in-law did pass away 
and we had his memorial service yesterday so um been a lot of things going on prior to him passing away and then of course things afterwards so got some eyelashes this is the kiss lash couture faux mink collection this i actually got from walmart i do remember that now that came from walmart so i got those those are really pretty my friend annie's been wearing her eyelashes and they're so pretty and she's um inspired me to try and start wearing lashes which i didn't put any on today but i've been practicing then i got these from kiss um, these i did get from ulta and this is the number 11s so got those some duo glue <laughs> so i needed some glue the other glue that i bought in my last haul was actually for the um, individual lashes and i don't know why they would do this with those type of of lashes but that glue smelled exactly like um modeling glue you know like out of those car kits that you put together and it has that glue in there it was such a strong odor it even burned my eyes i was thinking my god i mean i don't know why you would even use that so i got this one this one does not smell this one does not burn my eyes so i got that um but la, 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 la. what else did i get oh yeah right here with that order i got um, two of my favorite eyelash primers and this is the l'oreal voluminous primer bases these were buy one get one half so i got those love those i think those are just as good if not better than the dior um, showstopper which is like 30 dollars um, there's one from longcomb that i've tried i don't think it's as good as those and those are a whole lot cheaper and then also in that order, I got this little baby highlighter from Laura Geller. This is the one that is called um, Gilded Honey. Remember when this first came out, everybody was talking about Gilded Honey. So they came out with a little one and I had not had it. So I thought I would give it a try. For my skin tone, it's a little bit, it's too dark, but I did use it one day as a eyeshadow and it was really pretty that way. So it won't go to waste. I'll use it as an eyeshadow, but there it is. I mean, look at that. That's pretty intense, isn't it? <laughs> so, I got that. And let's see, what else do we have? We have from Walmart. Other than those eyelashes I just showed you, um, they have these little kits they came out with for $9.88. And this is the Glow For It Favorites, um, Walmart Beauty. And in it are these little goodies here. I don't know if y'all have seen these in your stores yet or not, but there's a sheet mask. There's the Milani Make It Dewy face spray. There's, well here, let me just take it out and show you. I left it in here until I did the haul so I could show you what it looked like in the box, but it has this mask. And this is from the brand Found. It's a coconut sheet mask. And then it has in here a highlighter from Wet n Wild. And this is the Precious Petals Highlight. How long I've, ooh, I've been talking for like 20 minutes. This is gonna be a long video. Well, can I get it open? Okay, finally got it open. Here's what that looks like. Oh, that's pretty. I've been wanting to try these and just haven't really bought one. And then I seen it was in this kit. And I thought, well, there's opportunity to try one of those. Look at that. This was my Mother's Day gift, by the way. This is the Fitbit Charge 2 that my son and daughter got me. Also in this kit was another highlighter from Hard Candy. I'm going to be right here. It's like a three colors here. You could use this as a highlighter. I think you could use it as a blush topper or even as eyeshadow. That's all three colors swirled together. Let's see where can I stick it right there maybe. That's pretty too, isn't it? <laughs> that was from Hard Candy. 
and then there is a setting spray from Milani. Now, I don't know if this is the full size or not, um, but it's the Make It Dewy setting spray. Let's see if it makes me dewy. Why don't we? Why don't we just try this? Hmm. I don't like the spray on that. It kind of, um, it wasn't a fine mist, so I feel like I have little splotches on my face a little bit. But, I don't know. Did it make me dewy? I don't know. And then the last thing in here was, and the last thing that was in here is from CoverGirl. It's the Vitalast um, Healthy Glow. And it is a cream highlighter, I do believe. Or is this an eyeshadow? I think you could probably use it for either or. But that is what it looks like. And where am I going to stick that? I'm going to stick it right there. What do you think about that? Ooh, that's pretty too. <laughs> I'm going to be shining. So not bad for 10 bucks. I mean, you got to try some products. And then also they had this one. This one I had to give it. It was Love My Curls. And um, again, it has all this stuff in here. Lots of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. Okay, it has a hair mask, and this is from Hask. Coconut milk um, with organic honey. Quenches and control frizz for all curl types. Dang, that's got a lot in there. I could probably get like at least two uses out of that. So, and I've heard a lot about this brand too, and I know they sell this brand at um, Ulta also. Then a... Um, like a travel size of the Tresemme Mousse Extra Firm Control. Um, I probably won't use this because if it's, it's probably going to make my curls crunchy, but I have some place where I can send that. And then there is the John Frieda Frizzy Secret Rep Weapon Touch Up Cream, and that is a full size of that. There is a ORS Curls Unleashed. Shea Butter Mango Leave-In Conditioner, right here. So that was in there. Another full-size product, this is the Shea Moisture, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, right there. I've used some products from that line. I do like the, that line. And then from, I think this is the Maui, the Maui Moisture Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioner, some um, deluxe size samples. I uh, had been wanting to try these. They sell these at, um, at Ulta, and I've seen them at Ulta, so I was kind of curious about those. And then the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. So that was in there also. Not bad for 10 bucks. Not bad at all. And then I have another order. I'm just going to, we're just going to plow through. This is going to be a long video, so just Bear with me. I ordered a couple things off of NARS. I do get a pro discount, so there was a blush that I wanted to get, and this one is in the color Free Soul. And I just thought this would be really pretty for summer. If I can get it open. There we go. It's just a really pretty, like a pearl pink. And there's that. See how pretty that is? You could almost almost use this for a highlight. If you were darker skinned than I was, you probably could. That's right there. Look how pretty that is. So shiny and glowy. <laughs> Look at my arm. Look at all those highlighters on my arm. Wow. So I got that. And then um, this was on clearance on their NARS website. So I didn't get 40% off of it, but it was already marked down like 40%. And I think this was from last Christmas. It's the NARS. Oh, I don't remember. I can't read that. I'm going to have to start wearing my, my glasses in these videos. But anyway, it looks like this here. Packaging just so pretty. And wait till you see it. You're going to see a theme. Look, look at that highlighter and that glowy peach <laughs> blush. And then a bronzer. So pretty. Of course I didn't, I wasn't planning on doing all these swatches. I don't know why. And I didn't bring a wipey, but there they are. Look how pretty. Super pretty. Hmm. 
Where am I going to put that? Can I put it here? Will you be able to see? There's the bronzer, the blush, oh, that is pretty, and the highlighter. Now that highlighter, mm, more than likely is going to have to be either a blush topper for me or an eyeshadow. But that's okay. Still very, very pretty. All right. Ooh, I got a mess. And then um, from Nordstrom Rack, I was in there one day just looking, and I came across these masks, these little sheet masks. They are from um, the brand Lover Recipe. <laughs> the little um, illustrations on the front are just so cute. And I have them in order to how you could tell a story. So here, you know, these little kids, young people are just friends and he's kind of showing off for her and she's kind of ignoring him there. But this is the lemon. Kind of playing together there, just having a good time. And this is the apple. This one is the peach and they've kind of decided that they want to be boyfriend, girlfriend. And here is the paprika. Again, they are in love now. This is the um, grape stone. Again, they're in love. Giving her a kiss on the cheek. And a carrot mask. And he's just proclaiming his love to her there by offering her this big bouquet of flowers, roses. And then tragedy strikes. This is the strawberry. Um, they've had a little tiff. <laughs> He's got his back turned toward her and they've got their arms crossed. You probably can't see the expression on their faces and they're kind of upset. And of course here she's crying. Um, there's the broccoli and she's crying and upset because they, they broke up. And then here is the aloe mask and he is wanting to make up and has brought her some flowers once again. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. <laughs> so anyway, so I got those at um, Nordstrom Rack and they were like 97 cents each. I haven't tried them, so I don't know how well they're going to be or not be, but you'll find out in a mask video. Okay, so that is it for that haul. Sorry about it being so much. It's just like I said, everything's just been kind of on the back burner and everything's just been sitting in here and just haven't had time to do it. And when I have had time, I haven't felt like it. So um, it's understandable. But anyway, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon.